Things that I've been reflecting on the last year has just been constantly finding the time for myself to just stabilize my mind, like whether it's going on a walk or having some alone time or even knowing my limits and being like, today I just need to veg out and play a video game and not talk to anyone. Because I think learning all those things about myself and learning what stresses me out and when, where my limit is, is going to help me be able to be better to everyone around me. Subway on a Sunday with a smoker's cough, you're on it. We didn't have anything else. We only had Subway on a Sunday with a smoker's cough. And we both just looked at each other and was like, that's, that's it. It's way better there. Let's just build off of that. Ever since I've been a kid, like earliest memory, like if I hear a song that I like, my brain is like imagining me performing it for an audience. In high school, I'd convince myself, like, I will forever just be a behind the scenes guy. You kind of push your dreams to the side, and I graduate high school, tried to go to college twice, dropped out, and it's just a hobby, and I'm sitting there cooking or doing whatever odd end jobs that I can do to make money. And then, you know, everything started to become full circle, like, the, my hobby starts to take off a little bit. Subway on a Sunday with a smoker's cough, you're on your. Woo! Hold up. Hold up, let me drink some essential real quick. <laughs> One second. I can get that though. Mmm. I think I really want to throw myself away Into the landfill with my papers from the second grade Woke up today Feeling tombstone gray You know? goes into some crazy stuff. I was living like this secret life where I didn't tell anyone. Like my mom didn't hear my music until it went viral. You know, I didn't tell and I was very close off on my music because I didn't think anyone would ever like want to follow me or do whatever. And I remember I had gotten like the text or the call that not only was my song like getting some traction, but that they had put me as like um, the cover of like a Spotify playlist, which at the time for me is like insane that I'm being, even being acknowledged by like a DSP or like by Spotify or an Apple Music. So I was like losing my mind excited but then also like in the middle of uh, like two o'clock lunch rush in like Center City, Philadelphia and I'm like continuing to like do shit. Yeah. Try to fill in the blanks. Like and sometimes it's like that too like you'll just have one line coming out like don't my god don't you uh, uh. I got my big break from like a song happening to get like spread around a certain way so you start to convince yourself of things like oh well, I was just the right place at the right time or an algorithm just hit me the right way like and it never goes away you know when you're nobody you're like man I'm nobody and then I want to be up there. And then you get up a little higher and worrying about not having the number one album in the world. And to think about that, that's crazy because none of that matters. That's not why we do it. But you get so sucked in to this world where every post you look at, every story you look at, every tile slide, if you're an artist and you follow other artists are all, this is what I'm doing. And this is the placement that I got. And this is this. So you know, when you're in that world and you're seeing all that all the time, it's very easy to get into some dark mind sets of, wow, well, like, well, I didn't get that look, or I'm not, I'm not doing that, or man, I'm not, I, my, my, my music's not connecting over there, and you start to really be like, I don't belong here. Um, and you know, there's small moments that happen where, like Chicago or whatever, where you're like, man, I, like there's a small like 10 minute period of time where you're like, I belong here, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is all I've ever wanted my whole life, why don't I deserve it? But in a weird way, I think not having that cocky mindset, it almost helps you because it keeps you humble. But then eventually it kind of came to this little, like, you know, and it just felt really good. And, um, it all just kind of beautifully came together after that. And you just gotta remind yourself, you know, that like, there's a reason why you're here. And, like, there's a reason why I was put on this earth and I think it was to make music and mostly just to connect with people. And so that's what I wanna keep doing for sure.